Here's a fun mid-century color door. It's Peacock. I'm here on a sunny day in Sunnyvale, getting ready to tour a four bedroom, two bath Eichler with a two car garage. Come along with me, I'm excited to show you inside. From the outside, this Eichler is common in its lack of windows on the front face and its recessed setback door. It's almost as if the facade is giving you an air of privacy and luxury. Behind this door is your own sheltered oasis. As we head through the recessed door, it leads us straight into the atrium. One of the things that the previous owners have done is to install a retractable canopy over the atrium. So in the summer months, when the sun is higher for longer, you will have the advantage of a shade covering out here. What a wonderful upgrade. Whenever I see an Eichler atrium, my imagination races to the different plantings and landscaping ideas that might work to soften the edges of the courtyard and still be drought tolerant. I'm going to put a link here to one of my favorite atriums that I ever walked through, and it had a tree growing right in the atrium. Here we enjoy a view of the living room and they have left the exposed brick fireplace. To the side of the living room, they have set up a formal dining room. Then we have a view through to the remodeled kitchen and a quick peek at the family room. Then there is a door in the kitchen. Let's go through that door and have a quick look at the garage and then we will come back to the kitchen. Out in the garage, they have installed a new door and they have an EV charging station. Here you can see that at one point the beams in this house were painted a vibrant red color. I'm glad that they've gone with more neutral choices inside. Here in the corner, I want to point out a bump out, which is actually a mechanical closet. It's not accessed from the inside. The actual door to it is from the outside and we're going to turn around and go see that in a minute. The kitchen has been redone and it is very sleek and minimal. It's all white and it really makes it a blank canvas. You could accessorize it or leave it as it is as a neutral statement. This house is a four bedroom, two bath house. Inside there's 1,819 square feet and it sits on a 9,523 square foot lot. This Eichler was built in 1960. Out the doors from the family room, we also come to this pass through that goes from the kitchen to the dining room. And we can see the other side of that pass through here from the dining room side where the plant is. This home is in Sunnyvale, which is slightly more expensive of a neighborhood than some of the other San Jose and Willow Glen Eichlers. The reason for this price difference is likely attributed to its proximity to Apple. Going towards the hallway, we get a nice view of the separation between the private living quarters and the shared living spaces. The first place we're going to tour is the primary suite. Notice the closet on the far wall. In this suite, there are two full closets. One is here and the other is in the ensuite bathroom. We'll see that in a moment. Here we can see the mini split that will heat and cool the primary suite. As we turn towards the ensuite, 
we can see that they've installed a pocket door for privacy and conservation of space. This ensuite is bathed in light from two skylights overhead. And here we see the inside of the second of two closets. As is common to most Eichlers, the shower stall is in the ensuite of the primary, and then a bathtub will be down the hall. This home underwent an extensive renovation in 2015, and we have the great good fortune to have all of the blueprints and paperwork that went along with the renovation here available still in the house. The flooring was changed to this stone tile floor throughout. One of the things to consider when you're buying an Eichler is maintenance, upgrades, and what has been done throughout the life of the home. Eichlers were built mostly in the 50s and early 60s, so you are buying an older home. Some of the upgrades may have been done gracefully and at great expense, and other of the upgrades may have been done more piecemeal fashion throughout the life of the home. This home demonstrates an overall approach, which provides a consistency both in the design and in the quality of the upgrades throughout the entire house. And in this far bedroom, there is a sliding glass door that leads back out into the atrium. That gives this room the flexibility to both be a guest room and then also just be an extension of the entertaining space. They have this room with the closet converted and set up as a TV media room. And in the hallway here, there is a floor to ceiling window, which is common for the atrium models. In the hallway, between the bedrooms, we have the Eichler hallway laundry room station. There is a skylight above this one, and this home does come with some newer looking washer dryers on pedestals already installed, which is a nice feature, again, with the shortage of appliances or the long wait times. Then we come to the hall bath. Now, in the life of this home, this bathroom has been remodeled. And unlike some of the other Eichlers we've toured, this, ha this hall bath does not have a door leading to the outside or to the backyard. But we can see the tiling and the partial glass door on the shower. So the hall bath has a bathtub and the primary suite has a stand-up shower. For most families, this arrangement makes sense because the hallway bathroom is going to be the kids' bathroom. And oftentimes, they will be the ones using the bathtub. Back down the hall, we have another full sheet of glass looking out to the courtyard. Literally, the whole house is bathed in natural light.
Now let's cast our eyes outside and go out for a tour in the backyard. From the backyard, you can really get a sense of how big the lot is here. Commonly, uh, lots in San Jose or Santa Clara County are six to 7,000 square feet. And this house sits on a lot that's in excess of 9,000 square feet. And you get kind of a sense of the depth of the lot from back here. There's a gentle slope, but it's not too much to contend with. And there's already a thriving lawn planted. Next, let's go explore this um, extra office space, convertible space out here. Maybe in other areas of the country, people have apples, but given our proximity to the headquarters, this makes me smile. It tells the story of the owners. Maybe in some other parts of the country, this is called a shed, but here, this is proper bonus space. As we come in, we can see kind of a multi-purpose flooring. They have staged it as a yoga room in case that's what you need the space to do. They've also staged it as an office. Clearly this room could be anything you wanted it to be. There is a heating and cooling unit. And for light, there's a window here, a window front facing, a door and a skylight. And it's also equipped with lots of electricity and some cabling. So you could have your technology devices here and you have plenty of outlets to plug in all of your devices or lighting to create any kind of mood or atmosphere that you needed back here. And from back here in the backyard, a very satisfying view to the angles and the lines and the glass that an Eichler so proudly displays. From here, in terms of technology and mechanicals, you can just pick out the solar panels on the roof line. We'll go from the back of the house over to the side yard and get a sense for some of the mechanicals. Here we see the first of three mini splits. I also would like to point out that it appears that this whole left-hand side fence has already been replaced. Through the gate, we come to a proper garden shed on the right. Now we're in the side yard and we see a further two mini splits. And it was apparent in each room that there was some air conditioning. And looking back towards the backyard, and you might be able to pick some of the oranges that are hanging over into the yard. How very California living. Down the other side of the house, we have the less sexy things, but I would be remiss if I didn't show you some of the mechanicals. We have another mini split offering HVAC to the house. And then we have this very well hidden door in the side of the house. If you noticed the closet that was sticking out in the garage, we are going to go ahead and access that from this side. And I'm going to show you the mechanicals in there. 
And then also in this side yard, there's space for the garbage cans so you can keep them hidden. And here we have the water meter. And inside this closet, you remember this was a bump out in the garage. And we have the in-floor radiant heating system and the water heater. Come on, it's time to go. If you would like to see this house in person, reach out. Let's get a tour scheduled soon. If it's time for you to sell or buy your mid-century home, let's connect and have a conversation. If you liked this tour, I'm gonna to point you to my Eichler playlist on my channel. All my contact information is in the description for this video. I look forward to connecting with you soon.